what I like about this pump is that it has only less than five parts. Okay, bilangin natin na. Different from the other flanges that I've seen, ito naman medyo parang powdery yung flange niya. Hindi siya sticky, more matte. So, hindi siya tulad ng ibang mga flanges in the market na smooth. This one has more of a medyo rough feel, medyo matte. As I mentioned to you, I am in massage mode and you can see na naging two na lang siya. Ang ibig sabihin nito, nag-increase na siya ng level. Yan yung feature ni Dupser that is very common in all Dupser models which is meron siyang auto increase. Let's see now if we can change the speed. Ayan. See? You can now change it. This is a feature na only available kay Dupser 10. Hello mommies, this is Mame and we're here for another unboxing of a Dupser pump which is Dupser 8010 wearable smart breast pump. Ayan. So marami nag-aantay nito and I'm pretty sure that you would love to know paano siya gamitin at ano yung mga inclusions niya. Ayan. So kapag nakuha niyo siya, darating siya with a very very thick box. Tanggalin natin yung content. Okay, so this is your Dupser pump. Ayan, ang ganda na itsura niya, di ba? May LED screen na rin. I'll tell more about that later. Now, we'll see the other content. So, yan na yung pinakalaman niya. Ano pa ang laman? Ayan. Or, you will have the operating manual, your USB cable, this is a micro USB, Ayan. your adapter, and these two, the ad additional sha, you don't need this with your 8010 pump, but you can use it when you want to connect it to other a traditional pumps. I'll explain that later. So, kapag pumili kayo ng H10 pump, ito ang makukuha ninyo. Yan lang. Simple lang, ba? And that's why I like the H10 pump. Alright. So, let's go to the main pump, which is this one. I-explain ko ngayon kung ano yung parts niya. What I like about this pump is that it has only less than 5 parts. Okay? Bilangin natin, ha? Okay. let's consider this as one part you have your membrane or diaphragm so this is your second part you have your cup which is 240 ml or 8 ounce medyo malaki siya and you have your funnel na integrated na ang valve and um, connector so these are all the parts ni Dupser 10 ang konti lang na lilinisin mo sa kanya. Let's assemble it again and show to you how easy it is to assemble it. And then, I'll show to you how to use it. Alright? So, first is we get the cup. And we get the funnel. Connect this portion to this. Okay? Ayan. Ito na yung pinaka-challenge sa kanya. Nakikita nyo yun? Ayan. So, push. And then, cover or seal. Ano bang term dyan? Ayan. Cover yun na. You put the diaphragm. And last is connect the motor. O, diba? That's how simple it is. Right, so, let's go to the heart of this unboxing, which is to explore the... The function of this wearable breast pump. Ayan, inspect muna natin yung outer look niya and then later on yung mga features. Okay, so meron tayong anim na buttons. This is the power button. This is the mode. This is for the up and down. Ayan, this is how to charge your pump. Okay, so we open that. Ayan, so makikita mo yung slot for the micro USB. Medyo mahirap siya i-charge kung ganyan lang. So, kailangan mo siyang i-swing. Ganyan. Bago mo ikabit ang iyong micro-USB. 
Close natin ulit. Spin that. Alright. So, it has a white look. Ayan. So, ito naman. Let's see naman the cup. It has 240 ml. Equivalent to 8 ounce. Parang feeling ko kaya pa niya. Kasi hanggang dito pa lang siya. Ayan. So, it's one of the biggest cups I've seen in the market. This one naman, this has a silicone flange. And different from the other flanges that I've seen, Ito naman medyo parang powdery yung flange niya. Hindi siya sticky. More matte. So, hindi siya tulad ng ibang mga flanges in the market na smooth. This one has more of a medyo rough feel, medyo matte. Which is kind of good because uh, when I used it, hindi kumakapit ang mga dust. So, that's one good thing that I like about it. Now, let's go to the to how to open. Press this button. This is the power button. Ayan. Ayan. Yan yung LED. The one on the upper right, this is the battery. This is the timer. And this is the levels. This is the speed. Ayan. Ililapit ko. Speed. Ayan. You can control the speed. Ayan. So, 98, diba? Let's see if there are changes if I change it one. Ay, parang kapag halimbawa nasa massage mode, you can change it. We're in the massage mode. Ayan. Sige, let's explore first later on yung speed kapag hindi nasa massage mode. As I mentioned to you, I am in massage mode. And you can see na naging 2 na lang siya. Ang ibig sabihin nito, nag-increase na siya ng level. Yan yung feature ni Dupser that is very common in all Dupser models, which is meron siyang auto-increase. Mas papalakas ang uh, suction strength niya. Yun, yung mas correct yan. Okay, so naka 1 minute na tayo, and nasa level 3 siya ng massage mode. Okay? So, you just press this button to go to the expression mode. Ayan. I'm not sure if you can hear the suction, which is what I like about this pump. Medyo tahimik siya. Ayan. It is very, very quiet. Ayan. I'll put it on a higher level. Let's see now if we can change the speed. Ayan. See? You can now change it. This is a feature na only available kay Dupser 10. And not available in other wearable breast pumps. So okay, let's try to increase the speed. To 38. See? Maybe you mas mabilis, di ba? Let's try it again at the lower speed. Okay. All right. And finally, the last mode is milk collection mode, or as I call it, the mixed mode. So you, you will have a combination of the mixed mode or the uh, massage mode and the expression mode. So let's put it in the highest. Yeah, para makita natin how it functions. See? Meron dalawang short pull and dalawang long pull. Okay. Let's try to change the speed naman. Yeah. Yeah, and you can also change it. Yeah. All right. This one has about 1,100 ma, which gives you about uh, four to six pumping sessions. Four kung halimbawa 20 minutes ka. And about 6 to 15 minutes. And so that's very good enough when you're outside of the house and you want to pump outside. Okay, so let's close this. Yan. Ganyan. Ganyan lang how to use this pump. It's very easy. Okay, so I mentioned to you that um, this pump has other parts na included in the set. I'll show to you now how to use it as a hands-free cup. 
you will be needing this to use this too. All right. This white cap, please note that this can't be sterilized. Again, this one doesn't have to be sterilized. Okay, ayan. So, um, what needs to be done now is to connect the tubing, the single tubing, to your white cap. And then, the other part, the other end of this single tubing, you can connect to your other dupser pumps, like dupser 8006, ayan, or other pumps in the market na may generic tubing, ayan. So, like, for example, you can connect this one to a Spectra or a Real Booby or ano pa ba. Basta generic ang tubing mo, you should be fine. Okay, so i-connect natin to that. Ang hindi lang yata pwede is Medela kasi medyo mahirap yung, medyo mahirap yung tubing ni Medela. Okay. Next is how to pour milk. When you pour milk, pour through the... Uh, spout. Yeah, that's the spout. Kung makikita nyo. Ayan. So, slowly pour. Ayan. Slowly pour through the spout. Ganun siya. So, ganun lang siya kadali to pour. Okay? Alright. And lastly, few reminders na lang. When you use this pump, always wear it na medyo slightly leaning forward. So, what do, you, do I mean by that? This is upright. Medyo ganyan siya. Why? Para tumulo pababa yung milk. Okay? So, kapag halimbawa sinuot mo siya na medyo straight, baka mag-backflow, pabalik, and hindi pwede ito gamitin ng ganyan. Kasi, magpa-backflow siya. Dahil, mas mataas yung funnel na sa harap kaysa sa likod. So, dapat kapag susutin mo siya, forward. So, bawal lang nakahiga, bawal ang slouching kapag ginamit ang wearable breast pump. What do you do if you need a smaller insert? Okay. You can use a generic insert like this. Ayan. And fit it in um, the funnel. Alright. So, medyo mas mahirap lang siya. Medyo mas ikit lang siya for a 21 mm. But, you should be able to put it like this. Ayan. So, bali parang ganyan siya lalabas. Okay. This is for 21 mm. Let's try naman sa 19. Ay, mas pagkada yung ano niya. Same din na parang medyo meron pang parang space but still you can use it. And the 17 mm. Ganyan yung itsura niya. The 17mm, siya yung medyo pinakamaganda yung fit among the three inserts. 